Now, I got a question for you about that. What? Um, he wore every pair that was sent to you. Mm -hmm. Yes, he did. And you're now wearing one of those pairs of underwear? It's called bleach, my friend. <laughs> Stupid Rex is Edens. I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter, Twitter for more juicy content. <gasps> Thank you for those on Patreon and follow my official Twitter account. And today we're reacting to a scene from a movie. Sweet. I hope it's a movie we haven't seen. It is. It is a scene from what movie? It's a scene we haven't seen. <laughs> Get it? Shh. Sharuya. Okay. Shabruya. Yeah, Shar Sharia. Shar Technically, Sharia. we've seen it, but we also haven't seen it. It is a Indian remake, adaption, thing, of A Few Good Men. Really? Mm-hmm. You can't handle the truth. That's exactly right. This is the end scene in the courtroom. Ah, excellent. It is played by K.K. Milan. Min Min oh, Min who we've been wanting to see something. Does he play Jack? He does. That's what I'm talking about. So yeah, this is a, uh, if you haven't seen A Few Good Men. Then you haven't seen it. Go see A Few Good Men. <laughs> Do you uh, actually like Tom Cruise in that film? He's fine. Okay. He's fine. Yeah, he's, he's, I think Tom he's, Cruise. Exactly, I think, it, I, I love Tom Cruise. Which I don't. But, uh, Jack is Jack. Yeah, and this is obviously one of the most iconic scenes actually well, not this one, but the scene they're doing is yes. one of the most iconic scenes in cinema history. Thank you. Um, <laughs> Glad you liked it. <laughs> but this, I asked specifically on, on Twitter, because, you know, when we found out from that song that that was the same guy as Hedder, and yeah. that, like, he's, like, up there with VJ Ross and right, Ross, like, in terms of, it. like, actors. Um, the, I asked for specific scenes, and this was the one that came up. I'm excited very, very much. So, uh, and somebody, I think somebody subbed it for us. Yeah. Rohan, Rohan hey. Yeah. Rock and roll. Thank, Thank you, Rohan. You, Rohan. Uh, so here we go. Court martial resumes. Events may begin. Okay. Favorite colors come see. Team. Black, black, black. Favorite animals? My kind of guy. Kargosh. Cheating. Cheetah. 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 जब तीस मंजिल की बिल्डिंग नीचे गिरती है तब बगल के दस मंजिल की बिल्डिंग पर असर होता है इसे सामूहिक निषेध कहते हैं कोलेक्ट्रल डैमेज तो ये रिपोर्ट्स बकवास है ये वो लोग जाने जिन्हें टेबल कुर्सी और एसी की हवा से मतलब है मुझे मेरा फर्ज मुबारक ऑब्जेक्शन यू ऑनर डिफेंस इज रिडिक्यूटिंग डेकोरेटेड ऑफिसर ऑब्जेक्शन सस्टेन कैप्टन आरपी सिंह के गायब होने और फिर उनकी लाश मिलने के पीछे क्या कारण हो सकता है पति पत्नी के झगड़े किचन फाइट पिलो फाइट आत्महत्या मर्डर ये सब संभावनाएं हैं पर इन विषयों पर मैंने पीएचडी नहीं की पर दुखद है मैं उनके परिवार को फूल भेज दूंगा और आपके पीसी सरकार जैसे प्रश्न खत्म हो गया हो तो मैं चलू डू यू हैव एनी मोर क्वेश्चन फॉर ब्रिगेडियर प्रताप वॉट अ वॉइस आप क्या पूछना चाहते हो मेजर मेरे चश्मे का नंबर वाई नॉट जानना जरूरी है चश्मा दूर का है या पास का क्योंकि कभी कभी रियलिटी थोड़ी आउट ऑफ फोकस हो जाती है ऑब्जेक्शन Defense is digressing from the issue. Objections sustained. Both of them. Is that the same voice? Okay, fine. अगर आपको मेरे सवाल अच्छे नहीं लगे, let's play a game. Let's play a memory game with your permission, sir. मेरी याददाश्त बिल्कुल 
मेरी तरह अचूक शांत पूछो एक्सेल आप कमीशन कब हुए थे 16 दिसंबर उन्नीस पहला मेरू छह महीने बाद वीर चक बहत्तर सोलह जुलाई फर्स्ट का बीटल अठहत्तर फर्स्ट गोल्फ टूर्नामेंट उन्यासी इंटर कमांड आर्मी गोल्फ चैंपियनशिप विकेट नायर सेकंड आए थे पहला ऑनर अति विशिष्ट सेवा मेडल एक नहीं दो बार अट्ठासी बानवे तिरानवे मेंटल लॉक कोई बात नहीं याद आ जाएगा आई गिव यू क्लू डिसंबर 1993 नाइन्थ दिसंबर 1993 कम ऑन ब्रिगेडियर आई डोंट वांट यू टू लूज दिस गेम सो आई गिव यू वन लास्ट क्लू नाइन्थ दिसंबर 1993 शाम के चार बज के पच्चीस मिनट कोहरा बता रहा था वेदर रिपोर्ट ने फिर धूप निकल आई थी कुछ याद आया D52 मयूर विहार 9th दिसंबर 1993 शाम के चार बज के पच्चीस मिनट में क्या हुआ था मुझे बता जो हुआ था मेरे एनुअल कॉन्फिडेंशियल रिपोर्ट में पढ़ लेना एनुअल कॉन्फिडेंशियल रिपोर्ट ओ यस ऑफ कोर्स लेट्स सी आह हियर इट्स सांप्रदायिक दंगों में मयूर विहार D52 फ्लैट नंबर चार बज के पच्चीस मिनट पे दो औरतों और एक बच्ची को बड़ी बेरहमी से मारा गया फिर उनके घर को जला भी दिया गया तीन लोगों की मौत हुई मिसेज आराधना प्रताप सिंह उम्र 36 साल आपकी वाइफ मिसेज शारदा प्रताप सिंह उम्र 70 साल आपकी मां तनवी प्रताप सिंह उम्र 8 साल यो डॉटर ठीक है सर एसीआर में सब डॉक्यूमेंटेड है ट्रेजिडी इट्स सैड नॉट ओनली सैड इट्स क्रू कैसे किया कुछ पहली चीज से चाकू से किचन नाइफ से पैंतीस बार मरने के पहले रेप भी किया गया आपकी बेटी का वाइफ की पोस्टमार्टम रिपोर्ट कहती है डैमेज ऑफ इंटेस्टिन आपकी मां तो जिंदा थी जलने से मरी खुद खुद के ये सब रिपोर्ट में है एक नाम रिपोर्ट में नहीं है बाबू कह के बुलाते थे उसको दस साल का था जब आपके पास आया था अनाथा लसी घर का सबसे प्यारा नौकर था ना वो नौ दिसंबर को उसने आपकी पूरी फैमिली को मार दिया आपके बाबू ने आपकी जमीन में जमीन था ना नाम उसका कोल्ड ब्लडेड किला जमीन आई नो वट आई डोंट नो इस जमीन का नाम इस एशियार में क्यों नहीं है कुड इट बी दैट ब्रिगेडियर प्रताप सिंह इज स्केर ऑफ समथिंग यू डोंट हैव टू आंसर दैट क्वेश्चन ब्रिगेडियर यू मे चूज टू स्टेप आउट ऑफ द विटनेस बॉक्स कमजोर होना ब्रिगेडियर प्रताप के फितरत में नहीं है सो आई आंसर द क्वेश्चन मेजर तुम उतना ही जानो जितनी तुम्हारी क्षमता है उससे ज्यादा नहीं झेल नहीं पाओगे तुम्हारे अंदर वो ताकत नहीं है पूरे सच को जानने की ये तुम्हारा सच है सच ये भी है कि आप मेरे विटनेस बॉक्स में और भले मुझ में ताकत ना हो पर मैं सच को जान के हूं बकवास कर गलत ये सब तुम्हारे उस नाइस की तरह है कन्वीनियंस सच ये है कि मैं हूं इसलिए तुम हो सच ये है कि मेरी ट्रिगर पे उंगली है इसलिए तुम खुली हवा में सांस लेते हो सच 
सच ये है कि सात हजार फीट ऊपर मैं अपनी हड्डियां गलाता हूं इसलिए तुम्हें सहूलियत मिलती है बुद्धिजीवियों की तरफ बात करने की संवेदनशील होने की डिस्क हो जाने की इश्क लड़ाने की त्योहार तो मनाने की जीने की सच ये है मेजर कि तुम्हें और इस देश के हर आदमी को सुबह उठते ही सड़कें और नाले साफ चाहिए तो पूछिए उनसे इस सफाई में हाथ किसके गंदे होते हैं हमारे ये सच है मेजर मेरा तुम्हारा उन सब का सच पर मेरा सवाल था जमीन इमरान नसीर फातिमा इन सब में जमील दिखता है ना गिलास और राइट दुश्मन सिर्फ बॉर्डर के उस पार नहीं होता घर के अंदर भी होता है गुण दीमक बन के जीता है वीर भोग्य वसुंधरा ये मेरा लक्ष्य है हमें जिम्मेदारी है कि मैं अपने देश को बाहर भीतर हर प्रकार के दुश्मन से बचाऊं नहीं तो मेजर रोज एक नहीं सौ जमीन खड़े हो जाएंगे तेरह साल से जमीन को ढूंढ रहे ना आपने देखा जावेद खान को दिखा जमीन बोलिए दिखा ना तुम किसे बचा रहे हो हा? इसे इस जावेद को कौन जानते हो क्या कौन निशानियां आइडेंटिटीज जो पैदा होती लग जाती है इनके अंदर इस जावेद के बहुत अंदर इसके नसों में इसके इसके खून में इसकी कौन सनी हुई है इसकी वफादारी सिर्फ इसके खून के प्रति और बदकिस्मती से इनके कौम में सिर्फ जहर भरा है जहर इनका हिसाब चुकाते चुकाते हम खाक हो जाएंगे हजारों रफोड मारे जाएंगे लेकिन कुछ नहीं होगा ये मेरे तुम्हारे या किसी टॉक शो की बात नहीं है मेजर पूरी कायनात की बात है इसकी जो सर तुमने मिट्टी में दसा रखा है ना शुद्रूर की तरह से बाहर निकालो देखो विवेक का इस्तेमाल करो समझ जाओगे कौन है दुश्मन पूरी कौन हर तारीख पर इनकी मौसमी मजहब इनकी आतन की मोहर लगी हुई और तारीख को साफ कर रहा मुझे आता है मेजर वही कर रहा हूं सफाई सफाई ब्रिगेडियर इनोसेंट बच्चों के शूटेड साइड का इनोसेंट एक एक ऑडिसर लेकर घूमते हैं हाथ में लॉलीपॉप की तरह इनोसेंट छह साल की बच्ची बच्चे नहीं है टाइम बॉम है साले आतंकवादी के पिल्ले है जो तुम्हें इनसेंट लगता है मेजर वो मेरे लिए अनुशासन है डिसिप्लिन मिलिट्री नेसेसिटी है और तुम मुझे सही और गलत ज्ञान मत देना तुम्हारे औकात नहीं अगर मैं चाहूं तो सैकड़ों राठौर की फौज खड़ी कर दू और मैं करूंगा इनको खत्म करूंगा मैं एक एक दीवक को निकाल निकाल के मारूंगा मैं ताकि एक और जमीन पैदा ना एक और मयूर बिहार में आग न लगे एक और तरुगा रेट ना हो चीख रही थी वो सुबह शाम दिन रात मुझे वो चीख सुनाई देती है इसलिए मैंने आगो से कहा गोली मार लो इनको खत्म कर दो सरों को जो बूढ़े बच्चे सामने आए खत्म कर दो उनको बोलो ये लोग हमें खा जाएंगे भयू बिहार के सैकड़ों घरों को खा जाएंगे ये लोग और करना है तो इनकी कौन का सफाया करो टच वोट भी वॉट प्लरी डेमोक्रेसी प्लरी प्लरी डेमोक्रेसी
Thank you. That will be all, Your Honor. The defense rests its case. Okay, Father. My work is done. I accept it. Thank you, gentlemen. It was a pleasure. Brigadier Rudra Pratap Singh, you have been relieved of your duty with immediate effect, and a court of inquiry will be ordered against you. What? Nothing. What happened? Indian Army is Jammu Circus. The prosecutor, Major Akash Kapoor, will now read the charges against Brigadier Rudra Pratap Singh. Brigadier Pratap, आप पर आरपीसी धारा 304 और आर्मी एक्ट सेक्शन 69 के तहत कॉल्पेबल होमिसाइड का आरोप लगाया जाता है। You are to be taken into immediate custody. Custody? तुम्हारा दिमाग खराब हो गया? इस यूनिफॉर्म को देखो। राष्ट्रीय सम्मान से भरा है ये। राष्ट्रीय सम्मान? ये वर्दी, ये चाय, ये सब इसलिए नहीं कि सिर्फ राष्ट्र है, ये सब इसलिए है क्योंकि राष्ट्रवाद भी है। बहुत बचाया है इस ब्लडी डेमोक्रेसी ने आपको सर, नहीं तो उल्टे टंगे होते, किसी चौराहे पर। क्या कहा था आपने? नसों में जहर, कौम को खत्म करना, राइट? ठीक है, खत्म कर दीजिए। खत्म कर दीजिए उस कॉम को भी जिसने महात्मा गांधी को मारा, उस कॉम को भी जिसने मार्टिन लूथर किंग को मारा, फिनिश दम, किल दम ऑल, दैट्स योर सल्यूशन, राइट? और इसका, और इसका सल्यूशन है एक छह साल की बच्ची को बचाना, दैट्स ऑल। कोई जात नहीं, कोई कॉम नहीं। जावेद खान की इंसानियत में इंडियन आ आप नहीं समझे, आप नहीं समझेंगे, ठीक है। In the light of, whoo, what didn't you like about it, Rick? <laughs> I know when you don't like stuff. What, what didn't you like about it? Um. I didn't, um, I was having a hard time believing the guy in the, in the Tom Cruise role. Mm -hmm. um, I had a hard time believing Tom Cruise in that role. Really? I don't, I well, never believe Tom don't, Cruise. You don't like Tom Cruise. I never believe Tom Cruise. <laughs> Ever. Except when he's in Tropic Thunder. He was really funny in that. But yeah. Wow, that's your Tom Cruise film, is Tropic Thunder? I think that's his best role. You, there's a lot of <clears> this stuff you haven't seen, huh? Mm -hmm. But anyways. Uh, um. So I, I, had a, I had a difficult time. Part of what I missed, and this just may be the way that this film was made. I have nothing to reference this scene from except for the fact that it's a remake of that film. And in that film, this is a young attorney who is incredibly intimidated by this commander and is scared out of his mind about doing this because his entire career will be destroyed if this doesn't go the way it's going and he's taking a huge, we huge gamble. We don't know that that's this film. I know, but since it's a remake of this film, I was expecting there to be that. That's one of the things that makes the scene work so well in the original film, is the fact that it's David and Goliath. You've got this young attorney who's risking everything in front of this monumental figure. And I missed the weight of that juxtaposition of the two. That, that was my big, struggle was I, I didn't necessarily believe the guy who was playing the attorney in Tom Cruise's position and I missed that. That's my, that, but other than that. I was watching it mostly for KK Milan. That, I was for that as well. And as and far as I'm concerned, he continues to do nothing but impress me. He, it still doesn't even look like him. I know. Which He's is. He's a freaking shapeshifter. I've seen parts of Hedda many times. <laughs> many so times. I'm very familiar with how he looks. Yeah. So each time I see him in something different and it doesn't look like him. I know. It kind of freaks me out a little bit. I, I, watching this, I thought if someone didn't tell me this was KK Menon. Oh no, I would not have known. I would not have known it was him. And then they would have told no, us afterwards. We would have looked up and we right. like, that's the guy from Header. Exactly. <laughs> he, he, he was, I, I'm, like I said, 
I'm not gonna really, I was never really judging the scene, even though I've seen the original, um, but I didn't know the rest of it, so I wasn't really judging it on that part. Um, but the, uh, and obviously they've changed some stuff. In the, yeah, in which the, is completely, in, in, which is good. To totally they, fine. As, as don't they should, I don't have a problem with that As, as they should uh, make it their own and fit India. Which is, which uh, is why if, if the film itself does depict this attorney not having that juxtaposition of the power, then okay, th 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 then, then that's my thing and I get it. I don't know that I necessarily would have still enjoyed the performance of the guy playing the attorney. Mm. Um, but for me, the big takeaway is this is KK meant he was believable every moment he was on frame, I thought. Um, yeah, he, his eyes, uh, he did, he was there for about, I think, five minutes, just sitting there mm -hmm. without saying a word. Mm -hmm. And he was, uh, he was displaying <laughs> uh, a lot yeah. in, that, in that time with not saying anything. And yep. that takes a, a trained actor yep. who knows what he's doing, yep. but doesn't, and also not overdo it as well. Exactly, which is, which is the big mistake that a lot of actors would do. Nicholson sometimes even does that. He does. Yeah. And uh, he, he can get he, away with it because oh, he's yeah. Jack. He's Jack. But no one else could get away with that. Yeah. Uh, um, but yeah, he, so like he, he was very subdued. Even when he started to do the, it was the part where you can't handle the truth part. Right. But, he was, but they obviously didn't actually say that. Um, but I, I was kind of glad because I'm wondering, because if I did this, I'm sure these people, everyone in that had seen A Few Good Men. Right. It was really Probably. popular when it came out, right? Probably. But I would have stayed as far away from it as I possibly could. Me too. Once I found out I was cast in it. Me too. So I was like, I don't want to remember anything, anything that they did. Anything. Because you don't want your performance to be hindered uh, or try to, like, be like, oh, that's what he did. Exactly. That's what I should do. Exactly. You, know, you should do whatever is right for your character. Yeah. Your character is not his character. Exactly. Um, and so that's, uh, I think he did really well in that because I didn't see any Jack. Uh, no. Which is good, even though this scene is definitively Jack Nichols, one of his uh, it's most iconic. iconic, one of his yeah. most iconic, he has a bunch, but he is one of his most iconic moments. In yeah, that you can't handle the truth line is yeah. arguably the most famous Jack Nicholson line ever uttered in cinema. Yeah, I don't think so. What's, here's Johnny? Well, that's I, one of. Uh, I, think, yeah. I think here's Johnny would be. I, I would agree. That's higher, <laughs> but it's I think one of. Higher. Yeah, it is. Absolutely. Uh, but yeah, I think, uh, man. I want to see more of his stuff. Has him and BJ Ross acted in a film together? Because that would be amazing. Yeah, as would watching him work opposite Irfan. How, how about this? KG Milan, BJ Ross, Irfan Khan, and Nawazid. <laughs> <laughs> Get me salivating. Do a Gangs of New York, but like Gangs of Mumbai, but with all of them. <laughs> man, man. Yeah, he's... How incredible I, would that be? I would love to watch either just being on set or watching, like, director's cuts and behind the scenes. My suspicion is he's... Which is the kind of acting that... I, a scene should never be the same because life is never the same. Otherwise, you're doing it because it works. There's some things you have to do that are the same. Like, for example, his character has to get mad. Mm -hmm. So he's got to get angry. Mm -hmm. But that anger shouldn't look exactly the same every single time. And the line readings shouldn't be exactly the same every time. And I'm positive that, that this actor gives you something fresh and new every, every single time because he's not thinking ahead. Yeah. He's just allowing himself, like Tom Hardy, he's allowing himself to simply be in the moment at the moment, and he's he's just. And it's, I'm, I'm astonished at how different the man looks in each role. And it's amazing that almost a year later of doing this channel, we're still even though we found out him pretty early because we watched Heather fairly fairly early, early on. Uh, even though we saw him, he, he wasn't what struck us about that film. But no. I feel like if we knew him, it would have. right. Uh, kind of like the same thing with uh, Ranveer and Gully Boy. Yeah, like if we knew who this man actually was and his other roles. Mm -hmm. Like it would have been, I just thought that's who that man was. Me and too. I guess, oh, he's being, he's probably playing probably himself. Probably playing himself. Uh, but he wasn't. <laughs> it's just, so if you don't know the people, you can't really, you can't really judge how good a, a subtle performance is usually. Exactly, that's why we lost Renvir in Gully Boy. Mm -hmm. We didn't realize he was being so subtle compared to what he can do. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, this guy is, his shape shifting is kind of freaky. Yeah. I want to see more. I want to see more. Yep. Yeah, that was great.